TitleMatchNetwork.com. I'll tell you about Luger. Luger was, Luger did not know how to work. Uh, Bob Roop did what he, what he could with Luger, but Luger, Larry, if you know, if you hear this, you know, <laughs> you know, we, we, we've been friends. We haven't been friends sometimes, but you know, he was, you know, Luger's kind of mechanical. And, and when he first came, uh, to wrestle, I guess he just come from the USFL. So, I mean, he was, he was a big boy, you know, he was 290 pounds and, and, uh, you know, I was, I was designated to work with Luger, you know, so I had to, now here I was, I was, I was a young, I, I think, and I said, I may be wrong, but I think Larry is a couple of years older than I am or, or, or one or two, I know. But uh, uh, I had to teach him actually in the ring. But, but you know, he looked, he looked so good that that was when the changes, you know, were starting to take place in the business, you know, from like the old timers with big old fat heels, right. you know, and, and, and little, you know, little pretty boys, you know, that they just pounded, beat the, beat the hell out of. But uh, uh, man, Luger was was a he was a rough product there for a while, and I, I worked with him. I've got a scar. Uh, uh, it's it's on one of my eyebrows here, and I don't know if you can see it. But we did a deal one night where uh, it was a cage match. It was in Daytona Day, Daytona Beach, Florida, at the Oceanfront Center, and it was a cage match. Well, Luger was the heel. And I was the baby face and I, and I was sitting at ringside in a woman's dress with a wig yeah. and a hat on. And I had been out there all night, you know, until this match was supposed to come. So, <laughs> so what, what I think it was, is I think, I think that Luger was supposed to work with somebody else and, you know, it was a no show. Right. So the guy no showed. So there I was, we figured out at the beginning of the night, okay, this is how we're going to do this. So Luger standing there in the middle of the ring, you know, where's my opponent? What's going on here? I climbed, I climbed over the cage and I took the dress off and the wig and the hat. And, and then, you know, it, it was, you know, local territory, you know, everybody popped. All right, all right. I was, yeah. So I went and I grabbed Luger and I spun him around and I wrapped the dress around his neck. And when, and when he tried to pull the, the dress off my neck, he hit me and that, now I know where it is. Huh? There's a scar straight up and down on, on it. yeah, it's there. But he hit me with the point of his elbow. My my head opened that wide, and we had to go forty five minutes. Huh. Forty five with us. Forty five okay. minutes. So I mean, in the first in the first minute of what we were doing when we were in the ring, oh. Luger hit me with an elbow in the forehead, and the, the referee was uh, I think it was Bill Alfonso. Oh. I said to Bill, I said, "How bad is it?" He said, "Oh man," <laughs> he said, "You're not gonna believe." So what I did, I reached up and I put my finger down in this hole in my head. You know, it was, it was, it, you know, it was that long, but it's, it's right on your eyebrow. So it was, it was a deep gash. Right. And, and what I did, we went the 45 minutes, you know, we went the whole match and did it. And because it was such a, you know, it was such a deep cut and in a weird place because it was a, you know, it was a squash, you know, it was just, you know, it squashed it. It didn't really bleed a lot. It bled some, but you know, it was, it was, right. it was a hard way. And then this is how we start out the match. So I'm working the whole match with this open wound on my head and Luger almost didn't want to touch me. You know, he's saying, Oh, what can we, what can we, you know, what can you do? What can we do? I said, the hell with it. I said, let's just do the match. He couldn't believe it. We went to 45 minutes. You know, we, we had the match. I don't even remember what the finish was. But I went in the back and I showered and I looked at my head and I said, man, I can't believe it. So I drove back to, uh, to Tampa or from Daytona Beach. It's about 150, 160 miles, I think. And uh, I, put a, I put a piece of tape over it to try to pull it together. And then the next morning I went to see my, I went to see my doc. You know, it was, it was a pal of mine. That, uh, mm. I'll tell you this story again in a minute right. after I finished with Luger. But I went to him because I had a prior experience with this doctor. Uh, he said, man, how long ago did you get this cut in your head? And I said, well, I happened about eight o'clock last night. 
he says, man, I'm not going to be able to make that look any good. But he, he sewed it up, you know, and it was swollen. It was puffed out. You know, usually, you know, when something's left that long, you know, they, they won't close it because they wait for the swelling to go down. But man, I had to go to the town that night. I had to go and work. So I said, you've got to close it up. So he sewed it up for me. Titlematchnetwork.com.